friends, Firefox here. Uh, you might notice new addition uh, to my loadout. It's the Dynamic Designs US.com Tactical Throat Mic. Now I use a uh, Motorola MR 355Rs. Um, it's got them a good deal at Academy. They use a two and a half millimeter pin. And with a push to talk, I am able to use all of this. So more about the complete layout in a minute. Um, I have a 15 and a half inch neck and these are going to take quite a bit of getting used to. I mean they already are pretty snug, I gotta say. The, uh, the push to talk button, I got it large because I definitely wanted to uh, be able to maintain my aiming and just be able to click in. Uh, which, I mean, it'll work great on my vest because I've got the scraps running straight down. The uh, clip here seems pretty heavy duty and it's also multi-adjustable. But again, more about that in a minute. The tube here, the vocal tube for the ear, is astounding. I can hear very well through it and it's very comfortable. This, you know, I have it adjusted all the way open. And this is where I found after testing uh, is where it sounds the most clear. So it might be different for everybody, but again, it's going to take some getting used to. I went ahead and went with the open. I, I don't know, the look just seemed more normal to me. I don't know what the right word for that is. Um, so I would go ahead and uh, say pick whichever one you want, but so far clarity is perfect. I hear very well in it. With it dialed up here, I've got a whisper sounding just fine on the other end of the walkie-talkie. So. I think it'll work very well for CQB, even outdoor games. Uh, of course, naturally, yelling louder means it's going to be louder than the other person. Um, I placed the order on Monday and received it on a Saturday. I don't know if all the weather had anything to do with that, but they expected a Friday delivery. It was shipped to me on Saturday. So six days for delivery isn't bad. It cost me 45 and some change, I believe, with shipping. So all in all, not a bad deal dynamicdesignsus.com. Uh, let's go ahead and do the breakdown of all the bits and I'll uh, show you what you're working with. All right, here we are. I've got my Motorola Talkabout MR355R and there is the two and a half millimeter plug for the push to talk headset. And I've got my, working from the end here, two and a half millimeter plug. Um, Plenty of cable, coiled cable, and it feels very thick, very legit. Uh, your push to talk button with 45 degree offset clip here, and it'll rotate all the way around for those of you wondering. Uh, work our way up to the smaller wire with the throat mic itself. Now I've got two condenser mics within these, uh, no holes, so sweat won't be an issue. Uh, they work with the vibrations of your throat as opposed to listening to the noise itself, which is why I was able to put on a shamog, and uh, even with a whisper, um, the partner could hear me very well through the microphone, or through the, uh, through the microphones, the walkie-talkie. Um, you have your ear tube with a completely 360 adjustable uh, outlet. Now mine came with a already rolled top to mount over the ear and then inside the ear canal and this little setup is absolutely 110% comfortable. I had no problems. However, the throw mic itself, as with any throw mic I'm assuming, is going to be very rough to get used to. Um, it did feel like there was somebody kind of choking me just right up inside my trachea. Uh, <clears throat> the adjustability starts through here in the back, on the back of the microphone, and adjust in and out. But as I said earlier, the uh, setting that would rest for me was all the way open and tech tucked just up underneath my jawline. So even at a whisper, through a shamog, everything, it was perfect. Now the shamog, of course, goes on over this, so there's nothing in between your neck and these. And I mean, it works very well. A whisper was heard crisp clear and 
I gotta say that's that's awesome for me. So because I like to play a lot of stealth tactics when I'm running in CQB. Um, so that's gonna work out very well for me. Now the cables themselves, um, Dynamic Designs offers two different kind of styles of button. There is the very small push to talk button that looks similar to what came with the talkabouts. Um, this is of course much larger, but that'll be easy for me to get my elbow onto. I mean, anywhere you want to click it, just mount it and you can probably keep your gun sighted in and still get clicking away. Um, these, you know, unscrew and I'm sure if you thought this was either too large or the other one, whichever one you bought and you wanted the other, well, you could just unscrew and you're good to go. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but inside of here there is a little O-ring and I'm willing to bet that's going to keep out a lot of the, uh, the weathering that some airsofters might see or anybody not looking to airsoft but to actually use these in the field which would be amazing um, so I'm not gonna put mine in a sink to find out whether or not these will work underwater but again I'd be comfortable with it if it started raining I wouldn't really worry about hiding these or anything um, screw on and off very easily Now, as with any Spider Fox video, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a measurement here. Um, about three and a half feet worth of uh, cable from plug to push to talk. <clears throat> I can't even show you guys all that on the video. But uh, the button itself is at a two and a quarter. Very easy to access with my elbow. Um, while I'm posting up on the gun. The uh, thickness here of the button itself is about one and a quarter. Um, if you're gonna go ahead and include the clip, probably two and an eighth, two and an inch. Um, very, very brute clip here with adjustability. Uh, for clearance issues, I'm going to say seven and a quarter is minimum of what you want here because uh, I just certainly don't want to start flexing my connectors and fraying the wires and all sorts of bad things that might come from that. Uh, but seven and a quarter from connector to connector here. The uh, cable here, probably another two and a half, three feet. Uh, the mics themselves are about seven eighths of an inch, thick at a half an inch. Now just kind of loosely pried open here, I'd say about a five inch. And you get about, I'm going to say 12 inches worth of uh, cable here. So anybody with a large enough head that's going to need all 12 inches, this will probably fit, <laughs> fit you guys. So, all in all, this has been an awesome purchase. I can't wait to field this. My friends are probably going to be pretty jealous, I hope. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Safe air softing.